Hello and welcome to this very short tutorial on how to use the VDM brush set from my ArtStation Marketplace and Gumroad. Uh, this is a new brush set that is uh, the 10i VDM brush and this brush is created just to help make the modeling process quicker and to get ideas on concept sculpts uh, out there faster. For this concept or this tutorial I'll be using a dragon concept that I've been creating. Uh, this was created using the other brush set that I have, the 25 scale alphas brush set, where you, I can find on my art station and Gumroad. And what I want to do is just show you how to use these eye, eye brushes or VDM brushes inside a ZBrush. The first thing you want to do is make sure that your model has enough topology to actually hold, uh, to actually bring out the details from the VDM brush. You don't want to have a model with very low topology when using these brushes. You want to make sure that the brush is, uh, the, the model, sorry, is a high enough detail or high enough poly count. So at the moment, this model, the body, if I solo it, is sitting at roughly 5 million, which is more than enough. So the first thing you want to do is you want to load your brush in. If you haven't done this before, it's simple as, it's as simple as going to brush, uh, the brush menu here and then go into load brush and then you just navigate to where the brush is which should be the 10 eyes vdm brush dot zbp and you want to choose that one now i've already done it and i have loaded it already so in here it'll come up at the top here so i just want to select that brush and as you can see we have multiple vdms uh, inside of this brush set and the it's as simple as coming over to your model picking one of these brushes so I'm going to pick number nine I'm going to hide the eyes and in this space that I've left with the eyes I could have done this uh, by hand and sculpted it by hand but with these brushes you'll see you can actually get something out quicker and there you go so that's that's pretty much it um, making sure you have enough higher topology to do this and you can actually project uh, already made eyes uh, onto your model the settings should be the uh, basic settings that come with the brush so don't have to worry about changing anything of that, any of those and i just wanted to quickly show you if i just hit ctrl z to undo that i'll just quickly run you through turn off the eyes the other ones uh, the other eyes so i've come in here and I, in in these layers i've actually created each brush so or each stamp so that's the first one second one and so on and it's as simple as choosing the choosing the model or uh, the brush you want and just click and drag and it'll just come out on the model now, if you feel like if you feel like it's protruding a little bit too far out of the head, well, it's a good idea to put that on a layer then. And with this layer, you can then actually shrink it. So you can now shrink it down, and you can get a a more accurate design to your model to fit your model. And that, that's that's it really. It's like I said, this is going to be a very quick tutorial on how to use the brush. Uh, feel free to use more than one, even in one place. So you could use this one, I4, and make four eyes if you wanted. And as long as you have really good topology or not even really good topology enough topology these brushes should work really well as you can see here now this is going to be one of a set of brushes that i'm going to be creating in the future and the next ones will vary in different types of stencil or, or uh, sort of brushes that you can use to help quickly make 
conceptual designs uh, really quickly um, and not taking too much time. So these ones, the eyes for now, and I, I might even go in and make more eyes later. So this is version one of the eyes, and then I'll have something for uh, mouths, nose, etc., etc. So I just wanted to share you, share with you this this new brush. Uh, if you go over to my Art Station Marketplace or my Gumroad, the links will be in the video below. Then you can go ahead and pick yourself up one of these. I've also got a tutorial on character pipeline, which go walks you through the entire pipeline from ZBrush to Substance Painter on how to create a character for game purposes. Uh, if you still want to learn more, there's more tutorials on my art station as well. Uh, so please uh, go ahead and have a look at those. This has been just a quick little tutorial on how to use a VDM brush of 10 eyes uh, VDM brush set. So thank you very much and I'll see you soon. Thank you.